the whole freaking thing is crashing. Here is Peter Ducey of Fox News. As you know, he is one of the few journalists that I don't have to put air quotes around when I say the world journalist. And uh, he's doing just a bang up job at these White House press briefings. Uh, Here he is talking to Corinne Jean-Pierre. She is the black lesbian who replaced Jen Psaki uh, about what's going on with this stock market situation. President Biden once bragged about the stock market hitting record after record after record on my watch. How about now? Meaning the stock market. All the gains from President Biden's time in office have been wiped out. So, as you know, we're watching, we're watching closely. Uh, We know families are concerned about inflation in the stock market. Uh, That is something that the president is is really aware of. And so, look, we face global challenges. We've talked about this. Uh, This is we're not the only country dealing uh, with what we're seeing at the moment as it relates to inflation. You know, Putin, Putin's price hike, inflation uh, coming coming uh, out of a once in a generation uh, global pandemic. All all of those things play a factor. But we are coming out of the strongest job market in, in American history, and that matters. And that a lot of that is thanks to the American Rescue Plan, which only Democrats uh, voted for that. Republicans did not. And it led to uh, this, this economic boom, this, this historic economic boom that we're seeing Didn't with jobs. Didn't it also lead to historic inflation? No, that is no. not. That is that is that is not uh, that is not how we're seeing the American Rescue Plan. God, you got to love it. Guys, they're paying attention to it. Don't worry. Families are concerned. Don't worry. And then the the end of that is just so absolutely perfect. It's the Democrats who voted for the economic disastrous thing that caused all of the inflation, or as she calls it, an economic boom. It is their party that did all this and the Republicans who voted for it, right? So this is completely bipartisan criticism. If you are a pathetic, I don't don't know that I've ever said the phrase rhino, But if you are a rhino Republican in name only Republican who voted for the recovery and to basically demolish the economy because that's what Biden and the Democrats wanted, this thing is on you too. But what's the theme here? That it's starting to show. It really is starting to show. And they are starting uh, to be unable to hide the fact that things are not going well. And it's really getting pointed on the old man, uh, here's more from RNC research. Breaking, Biden's approval rating has dropped below 40% for the first time, according to 538. Now 538, like these are basically lefties, okay? These are, this is basically a progressive polling organization. It's certainly a Democrat progressive polling organization. It's run by Nate Silver, who is a lefty. Uh, so this is not like I'm going to some Republican polling thing and seeing if they like Biden or not. This is the simple fact that they cannot hide this much more. And uh, now Corinne Jean-Pierre is being pressed on the fact that nobody likes Joe Biden. Uh, Most presidents, I'm guessing, would say they don't pay attention to the polls. Um, But does President Biden feel any concern that his approval rating is is really pretty amazingly low and consistently low? Um, I believe today went under the average, went under 40 percent the first time. The president's focus on delivering for the American people. That's his focus right now. Mm-hmm. Meaningless dribble. Oh, he's focused on that? Well, is he focused in the right way? Has he, you know, maybe hired someone who's competent, who could help with the economy instead of bringing on all these social justice warriors and woke people and trans activists to do other things other than, you know, make things right? Could he try any of that? Uh, so then this got Peter Ducey to follow up, the natural follow up, shit ain't good. So is the guy gonna stick in this thing or what? Quickly, is the president running for re-election? He has, an- oh, first of all, let's, let's reset for a second. I cannot talk about uh, elections. I cannot be a political analyst from here uh, or, uh, you know, or the midterms or anything like that, or including 2024. The president, as you know, has been asked that question many times and he has answered it. Uh, His answer has been pretty simple, which is, yes, he's running for re-election. I can't say more than that. All right. So first off, I don't know what she's talking about, that she can't answer questions like that. She is the press secretary. I mean, it, you're the bullshit artist in chief. That's that's what it is. That's what a press secretary does. Whether you like a press secretary or not, a press secretary is supposed to do the PR, right? The press secretary is supposed to, you know, give the best front forward facing facade, front forward facing facade to whatever it is that you're doing. 
on any given topic. So she can't talk about that. Then she kind of muddles through it. And then, yeah, he's running, he's running. And it's like, we all know he's not running. Everyone knows he's not running. It will be a miracle if he finishes this thing.